seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this ninth edition leak video with myself, Six Plus Stevo. So yeah, ninth edition leaks. Wow, there's been a lot of them. Um, in fact, pretty much the entire ninth edition rulebook has been leaked online. So, yeah, I guess somebody out there is probably keeping a very low profile right now and is most likely gone off the grid because the GW Gestapo are probably hunting them down as we speak. But the threat on their life is our gain, I guess, because we just have pretty much all the information you can shake a stick at in regards to 9th edition. And uh, I've been wanting to cover a lot of it. I have covered some of it but there's just been far too much um, for me to even try and attempt to cover in, in one video or a, a series of videos. Um, there are some others out there who have covered all of the uh, information and broken it down. In fact, um, I watched a video just earlier today of Winter's CEO who covered it and broke it down really well, actually. In fact, uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll pop a link that will be appearing on screen now for that video because it was a really good video actually he really broke it down and explained a lot of the new rules and stuff so um, if you haven't seen that yet once this video is finished go and check that out because he goes really in depth and breaks things down and explains them really clear cut but that's not why we're here we're here to talk about blast weapons so uh, in amongst all these leaks um, we had a reveal of the list of blast weapons and this is something i really wanted to talk about because blast weapons are quite exciting and uh, if you guys are anything like me i'm sure you are you are desperate to find out which ones um, of the orc weapons were now blast weapons and so uh, i've taken a look at the list i've gone through all the weapons in there that are now listed as blast weapons and i've um, extracted all the orc ones because let's face it that's all we really care about um, the list is on screen, though, if you want to take a look at that, although um, it is not in the highest res. Um, it is a leaked photo, after all, um, but there's there's loads of images of it online if you want to go and find it and see the other factions, blast weapons. But uh, for the purposes of this video, I've um, taken the liberty of just focusing on the orc ones, because this is an orc channel, after all. Now... Before we actually get into it, um, I think we should just quickly run over the rules of blast weapons um, because, yeah, they're, they're quite potent. And I think um, if, if a weapon's got blast in its abilities, it, it really does increase its potency, especially if you're coming up against hordes. So blast weapons fire a random number of shots, for example, D3 or D6 shots. Now, when you fire these weapons into large squads of infantry um, or vehicles, any squad that numbers over five, their effectiveness and reliability is going to go up massively. And it works on two levels. So if you're firing a blast weapon into a squad that contains six or more models, then you are going to get a minimum of three shots. So let's say you're firing into a squad of six and you've got a D6 blast weapon. And for the number of shots, you roll a one or a two. Well, you're still gonna get three shots, three shots minimum. But it gets even better than that, because if you're firing that same D6 blast weapon into a squad that contains 11 or more miniatures, then you are gonna automatically get six shots. So yeah, the effectiveness really is going to increase against hordes and this understandably so has got a lot of orc players concerned because well hell a lot of us run mobs of 30 boys and those boys squads are gonna they're gonna crumple pretty quick under a barrage of blast weapons but it's not all bad because we do have a lot of blast weapons ourselves um, which i will get into in a moment but just before i get into the list of blast weapons as well um, there's another little rule with blast weapons in terms of vehicles. So we've had uh, the rule of vehicles being able to shoot into combat. If they're tied up into combat, they can shoot at the unit they're in combat with, which, which is great. But just something to bear in mind to all those people planning on using their vehicles in this way. 
blast weapons you can't do that with um, because for obvious reasons, if you're firing a blast weapon at point blank range, it's going to hurt the vehicle itself. So they can't be used in that way. So just something to keep in mind um, when you're loading out your vehicles of what weapons you want to put on them and things. Because blast weapons are going to be really good, but there is going to be that slight drawback with them. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see what the list of orc weapons are that are now blast weapons. So first up, we have from the Shiny Gubbins section, the Snakebite exclusive Brog's Buzz Bomb. Quite a nice little bit of war gear already, but uh, now with the uh, blast weapon, that's going to make it just that bit nicer. Next up, we've got the Bubble Chucker. I wonder if this will actually make people use them now. I doubt it because a lot of the other mech guns, as we're about to see, also have the blast special rule. Uh, burner bottles, we've got the Boomer, the Souped Up Shocker. So as you can see, this doesn't just cover the standard weapons. This has gone right into shiny gubbins and um, the souped up versions of weapons, which is really cool. We've got the Death Cannon, the Grotzooka. So this is fantastic because the Grotzooka has been kind of a, a useless piece of war gear for a while now. Um, ever since 8th really, uh, back in 7th it was a pretty good bit of war gear um, on your killer cans and stuff but uh, all through 8th it's been pretty naff really but uh, yeah with the blast weapon special rule I think actually now for the first time in a long time there is a point in taking the Grotzooka so happy days um, the heavy squig launcher, the cannon which is brilliant I'm, I'm really chuffed about that, the kill cannon the custom mega cannon. I absolutely love these things. And now that they've got blast, that just makes them that much better. The custom mega zapper. So yes, the Morkonaut now is good at dealing with hordes. That would usually have been a job for the Gorkonaut before, but now the Morkonaut might be a slightly more appealing prospect because that was generally an anti-vehicle one and uh, now he can deal with hordes really well as well. So that, that is fantastic. The lobber, that makes complete sense. The rocket cannon, unfortunately not the rocket launcher. Oh, I really was hoping, but let's be honest, tank busters don't really need any more buffs, do they? Tank busters are brutally good as it is. I think if rocket launchers gained the blast ability, that would just push them into full-on overpowered territory. Um, the shock attack gun. Shock attack gun, always a popular choice. So both the souped up shocker and the shock attack gun now have the blast special rule. So yeah, their effectiveness and versatility has massively increased. Scorcher missiles, smasher gun, so that is three of the uh, mech gun variants now, all have the blast special rule. The squig launcher, stick bombs. So stick bombs may actually have a use now. It might actually be worth lobbing the occasional stick bomb. And all the other stick bomb variants, so stick bomb chucker and stick bomb flinger also get the blast special rule. The Stick Squig, the Super Rocket, Tank Buster Bombs. Yes, Tank Buster Bombs get the Blast Special Rule. Oh boy. And uh, yeah, I think if you combine that with the um, More Stick Bombs stratagem, I think it's called, where up to 10 of them can lob Tank Buster Bombs. Oh boy, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. That is really going to be a lot of fun. So now, up close, tank busters are going to be able to deal with large mobs of infantry, as well as punishing the enemy's vehicles. So yeah, that's just definitely improved tank busters' versatility. What was it I was saying earlier? Tank busters didn't need any more buffs? Well, they've got one. <laughs> so good times indeed. And finally, the Waz Bomb Mega Cannon. So there you go, guys. Uh, feel free to snap a screenshot of this list on screen now because it's just nice to have those broken down 
because obviously when you've got it in a large list format and you're looking at all the weapons of all factions, it can be hard to pinpoint your exact one. So I just wanted to break it down for you guys into exactly what our blast weapons are. And yeah, there's quite a lot of them. There's a good old chunk of weapons. So orcs are now pretty damn good at dealing with hordes. So those orc on orc battles are going to be very interesting now and very devastating. And if you're coming up against, uh, I don't know, Tyranids or infantry-based Imperial Guard armies and things, you're going to be laughing because these blast weapons are going to take a heavy toll. But yes, there you go, guys. Anyway, I just wanted to go over some of these and share them with you. So what do you guys think about this? Are there any surprises in there for you? Are there any weapons that aren't in this list that you think should have been included? Please, as always, guys, share in the comment section down below. Smash that like button. Give that subscribe button a good batter in. And I will see you on the next one, guys. This is 6 Plus Stevo, signing out.